Where are you calling from? I'm calling from a couple of hours um, outside of London, in the countryside. You're in the countryside of London. Um, <laughs> what time is it there? Uh, it is um, 10 to 10 at night. 10 p.m. You stayed up late for the show. Uh, have you been listening to the show for a while? Uh, since the beginning, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Okay. So you've seen all the you, you've seen all the episodes. Have you? Uh, do you watch it live or do you uh, watch it on your iPhone, iPod, computer? A uh, mixture. Um, at the beginning, um, uh, I was catching up with it uh, via the podcast when I was kind of driving uh, mm -hmm. to my day, day job, right. and um, uh, and then uh, caught a few um, live episodes quite early on, around six or seven. Lovely, uh, lovely. Six or seven, and then. Um, yeah, just try to catch it whenever I can live. It's always good to um, join the banter in the chat room. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Lo lovely, lovely, and you literally watch the show live <laughs> in, in outside of yeah. London at ten p.m. That's great. Spot T, crumpet, absolutely, man. Bangers and mash. <laughs> watch a little this week at startups. I love it. I love yes, it. Uh, when indeed. are we going? To when are we going to London again, Tyler? Oh, yeah, it's got to come to London. Open Angel Forum, London, yeah. Open Angel Forum's coming to London. You know, we're going to have Open Angel Forum in London. We've had so of many course. people. That is, like, I would say in the top five cities that people have been saying, like, I'll help, I'll help, I'll help. And you have all that Dragon's Den, and you have tons of bankers and wankers all offering <laughs> money to startups there, right? Uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> and now it's crazy, so. because in London, they said the whole economy crashed all of the... Real estate crashed. It was the end of the world, and now I read that they're setting it's all new. Up. It's all picking up, and now they're <laughs> setting records. Uh, okay, so you have sixty seconds. You know the name of the game. Uh, we are going to rate your pitch on a scale of one to ten. How good a job you did pitching, and we're going to rate Gosh. the quality of your idea from one to ten. Okay. Everybody in the chat room, please get ready and listen attentively. Andy, you know what to do. We're going to give him a rating from one to ten. Three, two, one, go. Okay, cool. Well, Fidget Stick is a global online community for adventurous people. We are, in effect, the GDGT of the adventure space. Uh, as Ryan Block kind of said to me, we've got to focus on our product, so that's what we're doing. Um, there are over 150 million active participants in the most popular adventure sports, and exponentially more people who are inactive but associate freely with the lifestyle aspect. So our re relentless aim is to get the inactive off their behinds, those fat bastards that you're talking about. Yes. And over, the, <laughs> and over that first hurdle, and helping the active to do more by breaking down barriers to participation and, and retention. So how are we doing this? Um, using uh, extended profile information, activities, interests, ability levels, and most importantly, their individual goals to suggest new connections that can help them, uh, instructors to students, that sort of thing. And we're connecting also people through uh, their kit and to their kit through the community. So if there's a sector who is just as obsessed um, with their products as much as uh, tech and gadgets, it's, it's us, absolutely. Um, we're building sharp uh, partnerships with companies like Andy's uh, to provide relevant external applications and, and also developing our own, uh, particularly in the areas of real-time content, mobile communications, and building on external APIs. Um, in terms of distribution, we're generating groundswell kind of with a multi-directional approach, targeting industry leaders and champions to build credibility and consumers directly to build virality and momentum. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Good job. Uh, I don't know if I let you go over a minute, uh, but I was fascinating, so I didn't feel like stopping you. Uh, and <laughs> I think I'm pulling up your site right here. So, <clears throat> if I am understanding you correctly, you are a mm -hmm. social network... Uh, yep. That pivots people around uh, active uh, around the active lifestyle, around activities like kayaking, hiking, running, mountain climbing, yeah, etc. Alternative, alternative uh, kind of activities, uh, broadly speaking. Yeah. Right. So you are like, and I love this, the GDGT of outdoor activities which also means you're the Goodreads of Active Lifestyle, which means you're the Flickster or Orters of Active Lifestyle. You uh, came across very clear and explained uh, the value proposition, which is uh, you get to connect with other people who have similar interests, and maybe you can learn from them or connect with them to go on trips. Um, 
I thought your pitch was pretty clear. Uh, I didn't get exactly what the business model is. However, I don't need to because I know that anybody who's doing one of these active lifestyles, especially if they're doing something like mountain biking or kayaking, spends a shoot load of money on it. Uh, so I give your pitch like a seven, eight, or nine. It's just very clear. Uh, I give the business an eight, nine, or ten. I think that these businesses are going to do very well uh, in their spaces. They're sort of like blogs, but better. Um, obviously, I'm an investor in GDGT, so I have an affinity for them. Uh, I think you knocked it out of the park. You did a great job. Andy, what did you think? I'm always overly critical, but I, I do think it was uh, it was pretty good. I, I had a hard time really getting at what it was for, for some reason. Uh, it wasn't clear immediately. I guess i am always been a product guy, so what is it from the beginning? Um, the idea is good. I think I would rank that you know, you know, eight or nine. Yeah. Um, um, I, I would be a, but a, what, a little too much buzzword or not enough yeah. like actually describing of the product. Yeah. It, well, you know, bring up Techstars. I mean, that that was sixty seconds is a long time for me to figure out what it is. I, I like to know in, in the first two or three sentences. So, um, right. You know, so how would you first. say now that you know what it is? Think for a second. How would you describe his product? Um, at first, I would say something like. Um, we we bring people together to who participate in uh, outdoor active activities or something like that. Right. Just to frame it first. Right. Um, but right. So we we're a social network or a you know groups platform for people who are involved in outdoor outdoor activities like kayaking, mountain climbing, etc. And then and you're saying very clearly why they need to get put together. They need to get put together because if you're a mountain climber or a kayaker, you need people to go kayaking with. Right. Is that? I mean, that is really the main reason is to find partners for these things, is it not, uh, Stephen? Yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, it's one of the main um, barriers for norm, you know, normal, everyday people who should be leading a more adventurous life. Um, huh. uh, one of the main barriers is their own pro, um, uh, social network, and you know, they end up going out doing these things alone, and, and, and eventually they give up doing it because no one, you know, it's, it sucks it's a to do it thing. alone. It sucks to do it alone. So you, yeah, you solve that problem. And now, so it has a little bit of a meetup kind of a thing. So that's another way you could describe it uh, is to say we are a verticalized meetup.com. So instead of being a platform for every type of you know, meetup, we're doing meetups for specific activities, uh, adventure activities to have people have more exciting lives. I like it a lot. I'm going to ask everybody in the chat room to vote. Uh, while I do that, I want to hear Tyler, who is an expert who has helped me for three years uh, prepare the TechCrunch 50 uh, audience uh, and help select them and help select the Open Angel Forum audience. Uh, given your many years of expertise on this, Tyler, how did he do pitching? How did he do on the idea? My constructive criticism on the verbal pitch side of things is he did get rather verbose. It was and, verbose. And it got a, a bit buzzy and mm. he, he came off very intelligent, which is great, and passionate about it and you got something cool going on, but it just you got to leave them wanting more. Like, in, in design it to leave them wanting more. And, and it felt right. like... He just kept know, going. You just kept... You just... You were, you were going to go until somebody said, I got it. <laughs> right. So... Uh, you have to know when to stop. Right. You ever give... Sure. A, Stephen, let me ask you a question. Have you ever given a girl a compliment? <laughs> um, ask my wife, and uh, uh, she'll give you a very uh, uh, definitive uh, answer. answer. Right. Okay. <laughs> So uh, you didn't even answer that question. So I think you, you have uh, a little bit of the speak too much and too clever for your own good in you. Uh, when, you have, when you meet a girl, you don't need to say you have beautiful eyes, a beautiful chin, great ears, I love your blouse, your shoes are great. you, you got to just keep it simple. Like, yeah. I'm going to look right in the camera. I was always told I couldn't give a compliment um, properly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to teach you right now. I'm going to teach you right now. Steven, look right into the, look right into the video. I'm looking. Steven? Did anybody ever tell you you have beautiful eyes? <laughs> you give a little one of those. You, know, you have beautiful eyes. You know why that's engaging? And you need to let that silence for a second. Just let it hang out there, how beautiful your eyes are, Steven. Go ahead, tell her. But you even phrased it as a question, which is, has anybody ever told you? Right. Which makes the, forces them to feel like, okay, now it's up to me to respond. Right. Here. I'm engaged in this exchange. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, and if anybody has game, it is Tyler. Let me tell you, I've traveled <laughs> around the world with Tyler, and I've had people lit literally, I've literally, literally seen women in Japan, Korea. And London. And London, 
come up on the street and start talking to him. In fact, one woman who had a couple of drinks here in Korea <laughs> put his arms around him and would not leave. And we had walked literally for five blocks with a drunk woman attached to Tyler's arm. And you know, Ty <laughs> you understand Tyler is my attache. And sure. you, you ever hear of the place Adams Street, the club in London? Adams Street, I think it's called? It's a members only club. Members only club. And Tyler was holding court in London <laughs> with the fine women of the UK uh, while I'm trying to get business done. And he's supposed to be my attache setting up things for me. Paul Carr's, Paul Carr's taking my platinum card and he's charging up $28 scotches while Tyler is holding court with the supermodels in your country, uh, which seems to have an abundance of them. Anyway, you did good. Uh, it's a good idea. You should apply to Open Angel Forum London uh, if we can get that ever started. And um, the audience, gosh, in the chat room is just saying pitch seven, six, seven, six, eight, and the idea six, eight, eight, seven, eight. You're right there on the, the higher end of the spectrum. You did a great job. Scott Simcoe will be in touch. Super fan Scott Simcoe, blogger. And uh, we want to keep in touch with you and hear how you do. That's great. Can I just point out, um, uh, just for the benefit of the guys in the chat room and stuff, the um, site that you actually showed is a um, um, it is a new site. It's not been launched yet. Right. We just set that up specifically for you, Jason. Right. Um, and uh, we're hoping to put it live next week. Right. Um, so people can see it at our main domain, which is fidgetstick.com. And um, they but you can got the new me sexy, on Twitter as well. Yeah, the new sexy one. And then what is your Twitter, Fidget Sticks? Fidget Stick? Uh, uh, fi f follow Fidget Stick and my personal one, which is Retro Steve, uh, like my username in the chat room. Um, that'd be awesome. Awesome. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Jason. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Be cool. Bye.